Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another nail DIY video for you guys. I know these are your favorites and for today I have all of my products laid out. Um, everything will be linked down below in the description box as always and I'm just showing you guys this is the set that I'm trying to get today. This is the objective. Um, a short basically like a short French set this does look like acrylic but I'm gonna be using poly gel um, the poly gel I'm using is from Rosalind so if you want to see how I got this then make sure you keep watching first I'm gonna go in with a cuticle um, cream this like helps like loosen up your cuticles so you can like push them back and clean them up like any dead it takes off any like dead cuticle skin and it's from sally hansen so you just put that on your cuticles and you're going to soak them in hot water hot warm water whatever you can bear you know i try to go as hot as possible to where but i'm still comfortable with it leave that on for two minutes and then i'm going to go in and I'm just gonna push my cuticles back, loosen up any dead skin that's on my nail. Um, Cause you know how like your cuticles grow onto your fingernails. So I'm just cleaning all of that up. And I'm gonna go in with my cuticle cutter and just take, like clip away at any soft dead skin that's there. Like so, like that. I'm showing you guys this part because I don't always show it to you and I feel like someone may benefit from seeing that every once in a while so then I'm gonna go in with my nail file and I'm just gonna buff um, the top layer of my nail so that it's not smooth and it's a little bit you know abrasive so that the gel products stick better and then I'm gonna go in with my dehydrator from the gelish kit this is the same one that i use in all my videos and i'm applying that to my nail you can also use alcohol if you don't have a dehydrator and then i'm going in with these tips that i bought off of amazon they will be linked down below in my sally hansen i believe it's sally hansen no beauty secrets nail glue and i'm applying each tip making sure that i'm pressing for 30 seconds minimum hold time just so that we know that they're really on there you know you don't want your tips lifting from underneath that feeling is very uncomfortable then I'm gonna go in with my uh, what is this acrylic nail cutter <laughs> and I'm gonna cut them down I shaped the nails up and I buffed again the tip and the top layer of my nail and then I'm just brushing away the dust before I apply the LED UV bonder from IBD. This you do have to cure under the UV lamp for like 45 seconds, so make sure you do that. This is not something you leave wet. It has to be cured. It gets a little sticky after it's cured, and it's so that the gel products can stick to it better. Then I'm going in with the foundation, and I'm applying just a singular layer you don't want too much of it you don't want the foundation to be super thick but this is also a part of the gelish kit not sponsored love it if they sponsor me though because i feel like i've put everybody onto this little kit for my videos it's really good though i love it i really really love it then finally after we cured the foundation then i'm going with the poly gel finally some poly gel okay so i'm putting my 70 percent alcohol in my little dish and i'm getting my spatula end of my brush and i'm squeezing out my bead this bead was too big for my pinky i don't know why i grabbed so much poly gel i was kind of excited because of the color but yeah this bead is a little too big so i'm actually gonna take off the excess and apply it to my next finger that's how you repurpose your poly gel you don't have to trash it if there's nothing wrong with it you can definitely put it on another finger which is what i'm doing here i wasn't expecting the color of apricot in the Roslyn poly gel to be so orange like i thought it was going to be more peach but it ended up being more orange 
and I was trying to debate while I was doing the apricot poly gel if it was the only color I was going to use or if I was going to end up mixing maybe a pink in there so that it could be like a little bit more neutral and less orangey. Um, but yeah, I'm just showing you guys like the first layer on all of the nails is the apricot color from Roslyn and I wasn't focusing on making these nails really thick. I wanted them to be a little bit more thin. I feel like it looks more natural that way. Like instead of it looking like I have, you know, poly gel on, I wanted it to look like my natural nails with like a gel manicure if that makes sense. So I wasn't trying to make them too thick. I noticed in using the 70% alcohol that I was getting these little like, I don't know what to describe them, but these little white marks on the nails and I'm pretty sure it was because of the alcohol. Whether I was using too much alcohol, I'm showing you guys, I'm, I'm mixing, I'm putting the pink now, the nude pink from Rosalind over my nails. But I'm pretty sure it was the alcohol, but it was causing these little white, like marks all over the nail but it wasn't happening to every nail i think it was happening to the nails that i used too much alcohol with so i just went ahead and i buffed that off and i shaped my nails up and this is how they look once they're all shaped and buffed and then i'm going in with my white gel polish and this skinny brush this skinny brush is from another nail polish that i used to have that wasn't a gel and I just took the brush out and threw away the bottle of nail polish because it was old. But I was like, this brush would definitely come in handy. And it definitely did for this because I needed a really skinny brush to do the French tip. Like, it was very important to me that my French tip was like perfect. So I really took my time with this part because I didn't want to rush anything and mess up. But look at how cute. It's like a little smile. Like, it's a smile looking at it, like, upside down, if that makes sense. But then the edge of the nail you want to make, I don't even know how to describe it. But you guys see the shape of the French tip. It's, like, curved. I love it so much. It looks so cute. This set, honestly, this could be my go-to. Like, I know I love my long nails my long sets but for some reason i was really 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 feeling the short french tip like nails with like the thinner poly gel and it just looking really like cute and natural but just still done like i'm done up but i'm not like over the top because my nails aren't hella long i love long nails like i would never not love long nails but it surprised me how much i loved this short set because i'm just not a short nails kind of gal you know but i was feeling her she was hella cute like i want to do another short set so maybe you guys should send me like photos of some short nails that you have seen and you want to know like how would you do it with poly gel you can send that to me or you can comment it down below um but yeah i was feeling this it came out so good and the gel the white gel was just perfect it wasn't lumpy it was just perfect you know so yeah make sure you cap your edges when you're doing the french tip it makes it look so neat and then i'm gonna go in with my top coat from the gelish kit and i'm gonna apply a single layer of top coat i was just making sure that i got like all the way up to my cuticle but not on my cuticle when you put the clear on it just comes to life i really liked the blend between the pink poly gel the nude pink and the apricot poly gel from rosalind i think it's such a pretty color i was trying to make it look more natural like my natural nail bed i don't know i like it though i think it came out cute some of them look a little bit more pink, some of them look a little more peach, but it's okay. Then I'm gonna go in with these little crystals or like rhinestones. Um, pretty sure I purchased these off of Amazon and I'm just gonna apply, I did five, so one in the center and then two on each side, I believe, yeah. 
and then you want to cure that because I use the clear poly gel I mean I use the clear top coat to apply it and then you want to do another layer to seal it in and then I just went in with my cuticle oil my favorite part of doing my nails because that's when I know I'm done when I put the cuticle oil on I am done and I feel so good because I'm like yes my nails are done again all that work but it paid off because look at how they came out they look so good oh my gosh I want to do my nails right now this is like putting me like in the mood to do my nails they came out so good if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up down below don't forget to click that subscribe button and join the fam there will be new videos two times a week i love you guys so much don't forget you are smart you are beautiful and people love you i love you and i can't wait to see you at my next upload bye